So here's my new bike. It's a, uh, a 2016 Yamaha FJ09. It's new. Uh, it's got two kilometers on it. It was a leftover from last year, and uh, so I got a really nice deal on it. It was $2,200 off um, the price of a 2017, uh, and it's exactly the same bike. So that was a pretty good deal, I thought. Bought it up in, at uh, uh, Banville's in Petaluma. Nice machine, can't wait to ride it. So this is um, classified as a, as a sport touring model. It's an 847cc uh, inline triple uh, liquid cooled engine. Has 113 or 115 horsepower, 68 foot pounds of torque. Uh, so it's a really, really fast, smooth machine. Uh, gobs of power, you never need any more power than that. Oh, here's Nika. She heard me talking. Hey, Nika. It's all right. I'm just by myself. It's okay. I'm just, uh, I'm just talking to myself, Nika. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, classified as a sport touring bike. Uh, so what that means is that uh, it's not a, a true sport bike because the, uh, the seating position is a lot more upright. Uh, it's got the, uh, the half fairing and the half windshield on it. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, a sport bike, uh, you're a lot more kind of hunched over the tank in kind of a more aggressive mode. This is, uh, you, can, you can tour uh, across, uh, you know, across the uh, country very comfortably on this. I do have some soft saddlebags coming. Uh, and it kind of looks kind of weird right now with that um, rear section sticking out like that. But once I put my bags on there, it'll fill up that, that space and that uh, the rear uh, tail light cluster won't look so strange sticking out there like that. That'll fill up that space nicely. So yeah, really looking forward to it. It's a, uh, kind of looks like an attack helicopter really. That's what it seems to be based on. I really like the, 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 the blue wheels and the gold forks. Nice accents. Stubby exhaust. I don't want to start it up right now because I've been running it, uh, just driving it around in the uh, in the driveway. And actually, I took it down the road uh, yesterday just to get a feel for it. And uh, but of course, I don't have my license yet. Or if I don't have my license, I don't have insurance or anything on it. So uh, we're just on a dead end street here in the country, so there's no problem. But I just don't want to run it uh, slow too much. The um, the windshield is adjustable, it can go up and down, about uh, two inches each way. I've got it in the high position right now. Like I said, it's got the half fairing on it. Um, got the wind guards for your hands. Um, you know, all the reviews that I've read on it says that, uh, you know, you're, you got about 75% wind protection on it. So it keeps, keeps all the wind off your, your kind of your, you know, from about your neck down. You do get some wind in, in the head still, but that's all right. You can always put on a little uh, extender half windshield if, if I uh, if I want to do that they have those available for them the um, the gauge cluster on it it's just like a car I mean it just tells you everything it gives you maintenance when you have to change your oil you know all the normal stuff it's got the tack on there uh, really uh, high techy type display very easy to read even in direct sunlight uh, it's really nice it's got this bike has a center stand on it so you know making change adjustments and everything is uh, is easy. She comes off a of course and also the seat is adjustable. You can, it's got, I've got it in the high position right now. It can be high or low. I'm almost six foot two so I keep it in the high position and I can I can flat foot it no problem at all. Really stable. Very very light. This bike's only 463 pounds I think it is. That's really light. It's a big bike. It's, uh, it's a large bike. It's got an 18 uh, liter tank. I should get about 330 kilometers, I think. That's by the book. That's what they're saying in the book. About 330 kilometers out of a tank. Good long range. Uses premium fuel. I haven't had a chance to test them out yet, but the, apparently the, the headlights are the best in the business. They're LEDs. Uh, very, very good. Anyway, 
can't wait to get riding it. We're going to be all qualified by by um, early June. And Norma's uh, getting her her 2017 uh, Suzuki Boulevard S40 uh, pretty soon. We've already bought it. We're just waiting for the guys to, to find a chance when they can deliver it because it's coming over from Renfrew at the Suzuki dealer over there. So that's my bike. So we'll start making videos as soon as I can get riding it.